What's going on everybody and welcome back to the final state of affairs for 2022 on the King Crusoe YouTube channel. Obviously, it is December now, or at the time of recording, it's actually still uh, the 26th of November, which is a little bit before the time that I would normally try to record one of these, um, but given that it is now the weekend and I probably won't be able to have the chance to record this early next week when I would otherwise like to for timing, I'm going to go ahead and do it just a little bit early, especially since a lot of the things that I want to talk about in this video are already done and over with and already prepped, depending on whatever it is. So timing doesn't really matter too much. Without further ado, I just want to talk about some of the things that are going on on the channel for this last month and uh, talk about a few of the plans that I have for it, especially as we start coming ever closer to 2023, where my channel will feature a few changes. But before we get into any of that, let's talk about the normal things that I would talk about in these videos. First off, recommended videos from last month. I would say that the video that I posted in November that I'm most excited about uh, people being able to give a watch is my review of the Iliad. Normally, I don't cover classics on the book binge, but I, I decided to do so anyway. Uh, for the Iliad and the Odyssey. Actually, I can't remember if the Iliad... Yeah, never mind. The Iliad uh, came out in November. The Odyssey comes out this month in December. Sorry about that. I lost a little bit of track of what was coming out when and whatnot. So, not quite the same as my normal book binge reviews, but I do really think that everybody should give the Iliad a shot. So, I recommend you go watch that review uh, so that you can catch up on why I think that is. And then, of course, newly released writing announcements. Again, for the upteenth month in a row, nothing new to announce in terms of what has released, but Beneath Perfection is actually essentially done at this point. I'll talk a little bit more on that later, so I'm very excited to be moving on a little bit more with writing stuff again. This time next month, obviously on the 1st of January, I'll have a little bit more to talk about in that section. Just a little bit, but it'll be uh, enough at least. Then, of course, we come to upcoming video announcements. All of the stuff that I have scheduled coming out in December for this last month of the year. Uh, just as always, I'll have an episode of The Book Binge up every Monday. So four episodes of The Book Binge up this month in December. First off, again, just as always, I'll have my November reading wrap-up and December TBR. That'll be coming out this coming Monday. But then for the three weeks after that, I'll be doing three different reviews. The first review will be on the Odyssey by Homer, which I did mention briefly earlier. I recommend checking out the review on the Iliad that uh, came out in November. Well, I'm going to have a review of the Odyssey coming out in December as well. And that video is a little bit more brief. And I think um, the shortest way to put it here, at least, would be to say that I think more people are going to be slightly more attracted to the Odyssey than they are going to be to the Iliad. So if you're slightly intimidated by the Iliad, I still highly recommend giving the Odyssey a shot because uh, you'll do a little bit better with that than you might with the Iliad, but they're both incredible in their own ways. So I recommend checking out the reviews for both of those so that you can see what's going on. Next review coming out the week after the one for the Odyssey will be on American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. Kind of a sleeper hit for me this year, one that I expected to not enjoy or worse, absolutely loathe that I actually really enjoyed. I'll have a dedicated review of that coming out in December. I'm actually excited about that one. I talked a little bit more uh, on that than I thought I had originally uh, would be able to. I'll I guess I'll say. So I'm excited about that review. And then, of course, the third review that I'll have coming out in December on the very last Monday of the month. Is that the last day of the month? One second, let me check. Um, No, it's not the last day of the month. It's just the last Monday. So the last episode of the book binge coming out in 2022 will be reviewing The Lesser Devil and Other Stories by Christopher Rocchio, which uh, you might be able to see through the glare right there on the bookshelf. A collection of the novella the Lesser Devil from the Sun Eater universe, and Tales of the Sun Eater Volume 1. I reviewed all those individual stories in that video, so it's slightly longer than I had 
uh, hoped it would be, but I covered everything in that video that I wanted to. I'm so happy with how it came out. So I recommend checking that out, especially if you're somebody who has read some or heck, even all of the released material in The Sun Eater thus far, and you haven't checked out any of the novellas or short story content, you ought to check out that review. See if the side stuff is for you. Spoiler alert, it is. You should definitely uh, give reading it a chance. And then, of course, just as always and just as every month, I will have a book haul coming out this month. I think that comes out on the 9th, so probably a week from this coming Friday. Um, yes, this video comes out on Thursday, so a week from tomorrow will be when that book haul comes out. It's a little bit smaller than the October book haul, which, thank goodness, because after how much there was in that October video, if I was going to be getting any more months and book hauls that big in the future, I was that would be kind of crazy and insane. I don't have enough space for any of that stuff. So, anyway, yeah, the book haul will be coming out on the 9th, so I hope you are ready for that. And then on the topic of scripted reviews, that being a critical analysis and count the classics, again, still working on uh, scripts and a lot of pre-production stuff, outlining some new videos especially, because in November, and this was one of the things that uh, drove some hiccups in some of my reading schedule, was I played God of War Ragnarok, which came out this month. I believe it came out on the 8th of November, but I started playing it on the morning of the 9th, of November, and I played that all the way through the the morning of the 16th. So I spent basically an entire week not doing much of anything besides binging the heck out of God of War Ragnarok this month. Um, was definitely a highlight of the month for me. I really enjoyed that game, and as such, I actually decided that I want to make a long, very in-depth analysis video, and I mean, in a sense, kind of a retrospective, even though Ragnarok is new and uh, Dad of War 2018 isn't necessarily that old either, being from 2018, but I decided that I want to do an in-depth analysis of the Dad of War duology um, as a long video, because I really love those games, and I, I kind of want to do a similar video as that as on The Last of Us, uh, which came out in 2013-2014, slash and a re-release of uh, an updated version came out this year in 2022 as well, which I also spent my time playing in October, I believe. So I have uh, plans to work on some in-depth videos on The Last of Us and the Dad of War duology, so those have been uh, joined into the plans on some of the scripted review content. But of course, all of that is very slow going because it takes a lot of work to prepare and to write and then to record and especially to edit those videos. So don't know when I'll have fully updated word on when any of that stuff could or would come out, but I am always working on it in the background. I've started pre-production on those. And then regarding seasonal podcast, still haven't uh, come up with set in stone plans yet. We were thinking that at the end of this month, I was probably going to be moving some plans changed to something else, and I think those plans are changing again, so I don't actually know what's fully going on with that yet. Lane and I still need to come up with a game plan for the podcast. We had a game plan that we were thinking of, but we're not sure how that's going to work at the moment. Keep you updated as I learn more, as always. And then, upcoming writing announcements. This is where I talk about Beneath Perfection a little bit more. Now, the last couple months, I said I was almost done, and then in the October State of Affairs, I mentioned that, hey, uh, or... October and November, whichever one or maybe probably both, I mentioned that I was almost done with Beneath Perfection and that I could have it done early, that I could have had it done as early as my birthday in the middle of October. Well, looking at it back now, I don't think that was true at all because at the time I had yet to start or I was uh, getting ready to start Chapter 7 in early October. Um, you know, when I was projected to possibly be able to finish by my birthday. But chapters 7 and 8 ended up being way longer than I had anticipated that either of them would be, especially chapter 7. I was thinking that chapter 8, as the final chapter of Beneath Perfection, would be really long. However, I thought that chapter 7 would be a little bit shorter on par with most of the chapters that came before it. Chapter 7 ended up being the longest chapter in the novella by a not insignificant margin, and then chapter 8 ended up being 
pretty much just as long, I think only about 100 words shorter than chapter 7 was. And I'm actually not upset about that at all. Uh, looking back on it, and especially in the process of writing both those chapters, they definitely needed it. They needed to be that long. It was just naive of me to think that I could get that done in several thousand words less than I ended up needing uh, for, you know, those scenes, I guess. And furthermore, beyond that, by the end of chapter 8, it became obvious to me that chapter 8 was going to be even longer than that. I decided to actually split chapter 8 at the end where I put it and continue that scene into a separate chapter in chapter 9. So Beneath Perfection is actually nine chapters again. At the time of recording, I'm like a thousand words away from finishing chapter 9. I wrote over 4,000 words yesterday uh, on Friday, the 25th of November, and I wanted to finish it yesterday, but I wrote so much and I was so tired that I just couldn't get through the very last bit. This weekend, I will be doubling down and actually finishing that even before I edit this video. Yes, I'm committing myself to finishing that before I edit this video. Since I have a few days before I have to edit this video, it gives me a little bit of time to do that. But I will be working on finishing Beneath Perfection this weekend. And just so we're clear, I split chapter 8 into chapters 8 and 9, and chapter 9 is now the longest chapter in the novella, again, by a not insignificant margin, by quite a bit, actually. So if I had planned for chapter 8 to be all one chapter, greater than a third of the entire novella would have been just that one chapter, and I was not down for that. So I'm glad that things are actually running really smooth with the writing. In December, I should be able to get to editing Beneath Perfection a little bit, or at least a lot of it, get through several of those chapters, especially since some of those chapters don't need much editing. A few of them will need a lot of work, but several of them don't, so that Beneath Perfection can finally start coming out in January. Really excited for that. And now that we come towards the end of this video a little bit, Let's get into the channel and website statistics for the month. Now, I, uh, this time around, I guess I'm going to do the website stats again, uh, or first again, for October 29th through November 25th. This month, I got 86 total visits on the website compared to 94 in October, and 97 page views compared to 102. So, all in all, slightly less, but very similar to October. Um, however, I kind of surprised that the website's been getting that much traffic in the first place anyway over the last several months with next to nothing to show for it. Now that I'm finally going to be releasing Beneath Perfection in January, I'm hoping that come 2023, the website will be getting a bit more traffic overall. That's something that I'm really hoping for, but that's the stats for, um, I guess, November. Now for the channel YouTube statistics for October 29th through November 25th, I had 225 total views compared to 286 in October. So a little bit of a downtick there. Uh, kind of surprised by the percentage uh, less views I got, but 22.1 watch hours compared to 25.4 in October. It's actually fairly similar. Considering how much more uh, views and watch hours I got in October compared to any of the months before that, even in September, which up to that point was my biggest month, I was really shocked with how October turned out in terms of my YouTube traffic. So November sees a little bit less, but given uh, how unsuccessful one of the videos that I released this month was, I'm really not all too surprised by that. But if I'm surprised by anything, it's the fact that I still happen to get this many views and this much watch time in November regardless of that fact. So I'm very happy with that. And then, of course, in terms of subscribers, I had a net gain of three compared to a net gain of six in October. Again, October was a big month. And actually, the net gain of three in November was a lot more than I think it realistically should have been because uh, I got a shout out on one of Words and Time's videos. If you know Jonathan from Words and Time, he covers a lot of sci-fi content. So if you're into sci-fi stuff, definitely check out his channel. Highly recommend. Probably, um, he might, I don't know if he's my favorite booktuber on the platform, but he's up there. He's one of my two favorite booktubers on the platform. He's really good, great content, and if you're into sci-fi at all, highly recommend his channel. So I'm giving him a shout out in return, but almost all of those net gain subscribers were from him. I lost, I think, 
um, three or four subs, but then I gained several just in the last couple days after uh, Jonathan shouted me out in his video. So thank you to Jonathan for the small boost in subscribers, but go subscribe to him back and show him some love as well. So not quite as high performance in November as October, but considering when that one flunk of a video, I'm still very happy with it. Thank you all again, as always, for continuing to support me in this endeavor of mine. And as we come to the end of the video, I'm very excited to be approaching the new year and some of the changes that will be coming with it. I will be changing the days and the schedules for some series of videos and including some new content and trying to work some more on some other content that I was working on earlier this year that I haven't been able to work on for a while. I'm also going to be rearranging my room again, I think, and this time I should be moving my recording spot to somewhere else in the room that will have a little bit less of this glare problem over here and where I can avoid as much lighting problem up here and will uh, allow me to keep my bookshelves a little bit closer to me in the video so that they're more visible, they're a little bit more up front and center in the video and so that a lot of this background stuff isn't quite so, you know, blindingly apparent in the video. So anyways, I think I've said enough for this video. Thank you guys again for watching. If you did all the way through, I really recommend checking out the State of Affairs video for January of 2023 because, like I said, there are going to be several changes that I'm making to my channel. Not horribly, um, not, not horribly different changes, just going to be adding some stuff, like I said, and then changing the days that some of the videos come out, um, just for myself and because of, uh, other stuff that will be going on. Again, I've talked a little bit too much in this video, so I recommend checking out the State of Affairs in January 2023 so that you are ready and prepared for any and all the changes that will be coming to the channel, at least early on in 2023. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll be back again in the next video. Mm -hmm.